<clears throat> all right, all right. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Come on in. Good morning at Meerkat. Good morning, everybody. All right, good morning at Periscope, and then good morning at Facebook Live. This is the premier week here at the Money Game at Facebook Live. We want to welcome everybody from Facebook Live. Come on in, come on in. Good morning, Sister Niambe. Good morning, good morning. All right, you guys, you know what we do. We come on in, we introduce ourselves, and we share, share, share. We introduce ourselves at Meerkat, and we restream, restream. And we introduce ourselves there at Facebook, and we share over there as well. All right, come on in. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, all you regulars. Now, all you regulars, you know what to do. You come in and you share. You come in and you share. This is your first time. Welcome to the money stream. All right, I'm sorry. Welcome to the money game live stream. Hey, good morning. Good morning over there, Facebook. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Let's go ahead and share it with your friends. This is the live stream where we talk about money, money, money. Money, money for black folks, all right? Hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy, all right? That's the focus of our thrust here on these live streams called the money game, the money game. We're going to get started probably in another 30 seconds, brothers and sisters, so go ahead, come on in and share, restream and Meerkat and share over there at Facebook. Now, Facebook, uh, this is our premier week. This is our uh, third day, fourth day on on Facebook Live. We've been on Periscope for probably about almost three months now, Periscope and Meerkat, uh, but we're now here on Facebook. Wanted to show you all some love on Facebook Live so you can also chime in on the conversation. You can get some of these, these nuggets that we share, all right? The money game, the rules to win at the money game, the winning rules to win at the money game. We'll talk about that more a little bit later. All right, come on in. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Let's share, share, share. Let's get the count up over there at uh, Periscope. All right, let's get the count up. I need for everybody to share. If you're watching, go ahead and share because our motto is if it's worth your time, then it's worth your friend's time. Hey, good morning, Eugene. Good morning, Eugene, over there on Facebook Live. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. We're going to get started in less than 30 seconds. So we need to go ahead and share, share, share. You know what we say, if you're not sharing, you're not caring, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. Today is question and answers. Everything money, question and answers, brothers and sisters. So you want to get your questions together. I told you yesterday, right? All the A students uh, prepared their questions uh, last night, all right? So um, so we want you to go ahead and get your questions ready so we can answer questions about money, investment, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, investing, gold, you know, what's my take on the economy, all right? This is a platform so we can connect, all right? So let's go ahead and get started, everybody. Welcome once again to the Money Game live stream. This is where the hashtag is hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, Hashtag black economy unapologetically. All right. We are about focusing on empowering ourselves, our family, but most importantly, our community. All right. Because our community is in dire strait. Our community is suffering from not enough of us focusing on our economic sovereignty. Right. You hear countries being sovereign. But we're not folks enough on sovereignty. We're all pulling and grabbing for our own selves. And I say all, that's usually use term, loose term. Too many of us, the majority of us, all right? We have kind hearts, but now we need to funnel that finance, that money into our community, right? We can talk about the circulating of the dollar in the Jewish community, in the, in the, in the Asian community, in the Hispanic community, in the black community, we know all those statistics. We know they exist. We want to be, I want to be, I'm looking for those that want to be major players in the solution. That's about it, right? Like the young folks say, that's about that life, okay? So that's what we're attempting to do here at Black Wealth Empowerment. Hey, Mark, good morning, brother. All right, Black, uh, here at uh, the live stream, the Money Game live stream. All right. That's what we're about here. So that's what you're about, brothers and sisters. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And congratulations. We're here Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. 
All right, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday, we come here by God's grace and deliver a theme-centered message, right? Today is Wednesday, it's Everything mon Money Q&A. Monday is my Money Mindset Monday, Tuesday is Tactical Tuesday, Wednesday is Everything Money Q&A, Thursday is Tactical Thursday, and Friday is Freedom Friday. All right, or Financial Freedom Friday. That's our agenda. Now we're doing a lot of private things. So if you want to be a part of the continuing, continuous conversation and you want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. What do you mean, Brother Darrell? What do you mean? Meaning that we're willing to put our time, our energy, and our money where our mouth is. All right. If you're about that, brother and sister, here's what you need to do. You need to go to my website. You see it right there, DarrellMohammed.net. DarrellMohammed.net. Just click on one of the blog posts and enter your information to be on the special VIP list. Special VIP list, all right? That way you'll be made aware of everything that I'm doing that you can be a part of. Now, this is a private list, all right? So we're going to have a lot of exclusive content just, on, just for people on that list. All right. These concepts and the things we talk about, we're going to delve deeper down into those on conference calls and on webinars. We're going to have guests like our brother, Mike, I'm uh, sorry, Mark Wingo, who's been featured in Forbes and Black Enterprise. I mean, you know, he has his own uh, concept of economics, wig wigonomics. All right. So make sure you follow Mark and you uh, keep up with what he's doing because he's written and he continues to write for a lot of the major financial publications, all right? So he's here watching us today. So reach out to Mark Wingo, all right? So brothers and sisters, now, if you're not quite at the action steps and you still want to look and get a little better feel of what's going on and what we're doing, feel free to do that, all right? You can follow me at Periscope, but just my name. Everything is Daryl Muhammad, right? Periscope, Twitter, Facebook, Blab, what else? Instagram, Pinterest, uh, and Snapchat. Snapchat. You all want to follow me on Snapchat, okay? Because I'm going to do a lot of exclusive things just on Snapchat. Starting next week, I'm going to start giving away free stuff on Snapchat. So you want to go to Snapchat right after this live stream, and you want to make sure we follow each other, all right? We snap each other, whatever it's called, right? We follow each other. Because I'm going to throw some freebies out there, at least on a weekly basis. And you know with Snapchat, it disappears in 24 hours. So you're going to have 24 hours, right, to find out what the freebie is and take advantage of the freebie. And once it's gone, it's gone. So that's Snapchat, Daryl Muhammad at Snapchat. All right. Got all the housekeeping out of the way, brothers and sisters. Get your questions ready. Uh, your, your questions ready. Everything money, Q&A. All right. Now, you know, brothers and sisters, I'm big on mindset. I'm big on books. Everything starts with your mind. This is the book I'm reading right now, The Way of the Seal. This is a retired commander of the Navy SEAL who's written a book on, you know, how to train yourself mentally first and then physically the way that the Navy SEAL have trained. All right. And if you know anything about the Navy SEAL, you know, they're the elite branch of the military. All right. They're the best of the best of the military here in America. So I'm learning from him uh, some ideas, some concept, and really the toughness of the mind and how you can literally do anything through by, by the power of your mind. You can force your body to do some very, very, you know, extraordinary things with the power of the mind. But the mind has to be exercised every day in a routine. All right. So what books are you reading, brothers and sisters? Go ahead and put it in the live stream. Go ahead and put it in Meerkat. Go ahead and put it in there right now. What books are you reading? All right. You have to read books, relative books, not Zane and all the other stuff, but relative books to what you're trying to accomplish that's major in your life. All right. So you have to do that. What books are you reading? Now, as we get, as we get, all right, Aaron says, sell or be sold. Good job, Aaron. So as we be, build this small community over at DarylMuhammad.net, we're going to start putting together uh, and sharing with each other and putting together accountability programs. All right. Now, if you want to get this book, just go to DarylMuhammad.net, hit more. 
The one thing. All right, good. That sounds good. Uh, hit more and hit book list. You won't see this book there, but hit, hit any of those books there. It's going to go to my Amazon store and just type in either Mark Divine or this book and purchase it through my website. Power of Broke by Damon John of FUBU and Shark Tank. All right. Good deal, Mark. I got to get that book. I got to get it. Think and Grow Rich, brother. Um, I forgot it, you, your name, brother. Uh, Think and Grow Rich again, right? All right. Very good, Sister Cheryl. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So what book are you reading, brother? Sister, put that in the live stream. But as I was saying, go to DarylMuhammad.net, get on the list, and uh, and we're going to start putting together this accountability partnerships and things because that's really what it's about. Success, Mark can tell you. Mark has a very, very powerful story. Um, success is not by accident, right? You win the lottery by accident. You do not become successful by accident. It has to be very purposeful. It has to be very intentional. You have to have a routine that you practice for days and months and years in order to become successful and stay successful. All right. Because a lot of people get money, but very few people get money. Remember, one of the, the mantras of the financially successful is it's not how much you make. It's how much you keep. So let's go ahead and get our questions together. I want to start doing this on these uh, live calls, uh, on these live streams here. Um, you saw me share with you before T. Harv Eckert's uh, affirmation cards from his book, The Secret of the Millionaire Mind. You can get that at DarylMuhammad.net as well. It's on the front page. But I want to go ahead and just read one of the cards he has, has here while you guys get your questions together. The Wealth Choice, Success Secrets of Black Millionaires. Got that one. That was good, in you, uh, Eugene. I got that one. That's by Dennis Kimbrough. Dennis Kimbrough. I think I have all of Dennis Kimbrough's books. All right. He wrote a book called, uh, he wrote a book called what? Uh, uh, he wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. Right. Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. Get that book, go through my book, go to my uh, Amazon store and get it. That's a good one, especially when he tells you the story on how he ran across Napoleon Hill's transcript. Napoleon Hill's transcript that Napoleon Hill was writing specifically for black people. Right? And ironically enough, ah, there go Facebook again. Ironically enough, it didn't get published. I don't know what's up with Facebook this tablet over here. I don't know what's the deal. Um, so let me see if I can get them back up real quick. Excuse me, guys, because last time it went 20 minutes. This time it only went 10 minutes, and I'm not liking that at all. All right, so we're going to read uh, one of the index cards real quick. Oh, that's a good one. Playing the money game to win. What do you know? I deleted, I deleted the um, Periscope because I thought it was taking up too much space. Maybe I should have rebooted. Bear with me over there, Meerkat and Periscope. Everything... money uh. getting kind of hectic almost almost you guys be patient See if we can get them back up, see if they can stay. All right, sorry about that, Facebook. I don't know what's going on with my Apple Apple iPad, but uh, it's shutting off. It shut off 20 minutes yesterday and now 10 minutes today, all right? 
So we'll let them get back on. But I was saying that I'm going to start reading. Now get your questions ready, brothers and sisters. I can't see Meerkat because my camera's in the way. My phone's in the way. Maybe I can turn it around another time. Okay, so I want to start reading at least one of these. I want to read at least one of these. Welcome back, Facebook. Sorry about that. I'm going to try to work it out. If somebody can help me out and, and direct me on how to stop this thing from shutting down, this, this Facebook, because it was doing the same thing on Periscope. All right, but anyways, going to read some of these, one of these. All right, this one's called Playing the Money Game to Win, right? That's the theme of the money game, right? Learning the winning rules of the money game. To win, all right. So this one from T. Harvick, and you can get this at, on my website, right there on the front page. Page playing the money game to win. It says here on the back, rich people play the money game to win. Their goal is to create massive wealth and abundance. Poor people play the money game to not lose. Their goal is survival and security. Want to read it again? Rich people play the money game to win. Their goal is to create massive wealth and abundance. Poor people play the money game to not lose. Not to lose any money in my investment. Not to lose any money. I don't want to take a chance, right? Their goal is survival and security, right? How safe is that investment, right? If that's how we're thinking, that is the mindset of the poor. We're first poor in mind. Then we're poor in substance. All right, brothers and sisters. So any questions, any question, everything about money, any questions that you have, welcome back there at Facebook. Excuse me for the interruption. Any question that you have about money. I just got this in the mail. Oh, look, just what arrived. My 10X planner, my brand new 60-day 10X planner. Are you investing in yourself, brothers and sisters? How much have you invested in yourself, right, in the last week? Talking about question and answer. That's my question to you. Give me some feedback. How much money have you invested in dollar amount is not the point. The consistency is the point. How much money have you invested in yourself, in your mind, right, that will take you further and faster along in your progress, right? How well, how much have you invested? 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, $100? How much have you invested? This is a question to you, all right? Since this is everything money, question and answer, I'm asking you a question. So what is your answer, right? It didn't say that you always had to ask me the questions. I'm asking you the question. How much money have you invested in the last seven days in yourself? All right. All right, put your name there. I forgot your name, brother. It's good. $400, good. In the last week. Now, we want to continue to invest, right? Investing like anything else, it's a muscle, all right? Anybody over there at Facebook Live, how much money have you invested in $160, brother Eugene? All right, good, very good. Remember, Sharif, thank you, brother Sharif. Remember, it's not how much money it is. That's not the point. That's besides the point. It's the consistency. Once you become consistent long enough in something, then you can focus on increasing. Just be consistent in going to the gym, right? I started going to the gym two weeks ago, just on a treadmill. Don't worry about the upper body and see all that extra stuff, right? Don't get me wrong. Extra is good. But see, you have to, you know, depending on where you're coming from, it has it's been years since I've actually committed to a workout regimen. Years. So I'm focusing on consistency because, see, you don't want to go hard for 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 a day and then skip five days. Right. I did the upper body. I did midsection. I did legs. I did cardio. I did for all in one day. And then you don't go back <laughs> for months. The, the ideal is consistency. Build up your consistency muscle. Right. Build up your consistency muscle. And then once you make that a habit, once that's ingrained, they say, in the, at the cellular level, right? Then you say, well, let me add to it because I got my consistency up now. I overcame the, you know, the days when, man, I don't feel like going, right? Oh, I, I've been going three days in a row. That's good. I deserve a break now, 
right? Once you overcome those type of internal dialogues and that voice becomes quieter and quieter and quieter, you know that your, cons your, your consistency muscle is getting stronger and stronger. So when it become, when your body start missing going to the gym, right? If something that you have to do in your life appears to where you just can't go because the thing that you have to do is priority over going to the gym and your body tells you, you just feel something different and you say, oh, I know what it was. I, I didn't get my workout on. I didn't get, get my cardio in, right? That's when you know your consistency has become a habit, right? So it's about building. These winning rules to the money game is about stacking. Stacking success rules, then you start stacking success results, all right? That's how you get ahead. That's how you stay ahead. So when the winds of life starts blowing, brothers and sisters, then you already have it stacked up, right? You always have it stacked up. And then we're going to talk about wealth, all right, on another stream and maybe in the private private list. But we have to understand wealth has, has really nothing to do with greed, right? People have turned it into greed. But there's people in the Bible and people in the Quran and, and righteous people in the past who are very rich and righteous. We've gotten so far away from those days. More of us need to be rich and righteous and not the poor righteous teachers, <laughs> all right? All right, okay. Might be an external factor blocking the signal. I don't know, I went to the Apple store and they said it wasn't enough space on my, uh, on my tablet and they said, well, maybe Periscope is taking up most of it. So I deleted it prior to logging in, but I didn't reboot my computer. So I'll reboot it and uh, maybe we'll do a test Facebook Live run uh, after I reboot it and see if that's more space is freed up from deleting that Periscope app. All right, brothers and sisters, so any questions, come on. It's 20 minutes after. We lost about five minutes rebooting over there at Facebook. So any questions, put your questions in there right now. I'm drinking some Organa Gold coffee. All right, Samuel, welcome, brother. Good to see you over here. All right, I'm on Facebook Live Periscope Signal, lost the same time. Okay. All right. Well, what's your questions? Give me your questions. Hey, Christy, welcome to the money game. This is where we share with you the winning rules to the money game, the winning rules to the money game. Those that are winning consistently and those that appear to lose very uh, un ideas for raising capital for business. All right. Do some research on on uh, crowdfunding. Do some research on crowdfunding. But here's what you want to do. See, I like the basic way. You know what I mean? I like the hand-to-hand -hand combat approach, right? I remember reading a book over 10 years ago when it first came out called Guerrilla Marketing, right? It's about guerrilla marketing. It's about hand-to-hand -hand combat for marketing. So what I like to do, I like to stick to the, the tried and true, something that's been around forever, right? Before crowdfunding, before what's that seed thing, that I hear about, right? Uh, before that, see, before that, brothers and sisters, it's your personal list. They call it your base. Grant Cardone call it your base. Make a list of people you know. See, that's why in truth, brothers and sisters, you have to learn how to sell, right? You have to learn how to sell. It's so much value in selling you will find that the best entrepreneurs, the most successful people financially are salespeople no matter what they're in, no matter what you call it, it's sell. They're selling their idea. They're selling their concept. They're selling themselves on why you should buy from them, why you should invest in them. They understand the sales cycle. They understand K keeping in touch with people, K-I-T, keeping in touch with people. I have that in my real estate course. K-I-T, keeping in touch with people. They understand it's about relationships. See, this is what you learn by being trained professionally as a salesperson. Go to darylmohammed.net, hit more, hit book list, and get you a book on sales, all right? This is hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy. All right. If you're about that life, brothers and sisters, go to darylmohammed.net, 
hit one of the blog posts and join my list. All right, that's only for action takers. That's only for those that 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 are willingly going to buy black products. Right? Understand that the ultimate goal and desire, the fuel, the gasoline, right? The blood to to the to the to the life life fluid of our economic life and survival as black people is the circulation of the dollar. That's why you hear that because those that understand, understand that that's the fluid, that's the lifeblood to any economy is the circulation of the dollar, not stagnant dollars, not dollars leaving out of your community. That's why part of this presidential campaign is a big talk about trade deficit, trade deficit. That's what that means. More money is going out of America to buy foreign products than money is coming into America from other countries. So there's a trade deficit. See, so it starts on the micro, right? Understanding the micro and then understanding the macro. See, so that's a problem for America because more is going out than coming in. So that's the same thing with our community. See, so when the American government talks about trade deficit from their self-interest, all right? Thank you. Thank you, Sister Niambe. Uh, from our self-interest, you, you, you don't see, you don't hear, uh, Nige, uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Korea talk about, why are you just talking about America deficit? Why don't you talk about everybody deficit, <laughs> all right? <laughs> but let us talk about just black folks. Well, every, all lives matter, like Cat Williams say, right? <laughs> All lives matter, right? Why don't we talk about everybody? What about everybody? All money, all everybody money. See, only fools talk like that. Only people who don't understand the dynamics in which they're actually living in, right? Talk about American, you know, uh, uh, sovereignty. Talks about America's uh, military safety and, you know, all this other kind of stuff. But when we as black folk talk about it, ooh, you know, everybody gets scared. Well, you still in that boogeyman mentality. When people respond, that's what they're dealing with. So any questions, brothers and sisters, any questions, any questions? Hey, uh, Madison over there at Meerkat. All right, no questions. Well, we, can, we can shut this down early. Gave you a little commentary. No questions. This is your platform. How much money have you spent on your personal development? In the last week, I recreated a website which is a good way to monetize. I created a website. What is a good way to monetize? I'm showing you by example, brother Eugene. You do it by selling other people products. You're doing it by starting becoming what they call an affiliate. All right. Now the key to monetizing on the internet is driving traffic. You have to drive traffic to your website. There's a billion websites out there. I think they say only 3% of them really make money, right? A very small percentage of them make, because it costs me $9 to get a domain name. I got a new domain name. Hey, Kim. All right, my friend from Daly City. Hey, Kim. <laughs> All right. So uh, a very small percentage of people, uh, uh, websites make money. What should we focus on as entrepreneurs to improve our business? Sales, 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 and marketing. Sales, 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 and marketing. Sales, 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 and marketing. So, uh, Brother Eugene, so there's two ways of generating traffic to your website. There's one that's called paid traffic. Facebook uh, has, has a program that I'm going to start investing in. Uh, uh, sponsors post. All right, you actually pay for that. And then the other one is what they call organic. See, this is organic. It doesn't cost me anything. I'm getting eyeballs and I'm telling you, go to DarylMuhammad.net and buy this. Go to DarylMuhammad.net and buy this. Go to DarylMuhammad.net and get on a list. See, now what do you do with that list? Just like you do in any other relationship. You build value or as Gary Vanderchuk calls it, you jab, jab, jab with free stuff and then right hook with an offer. Where do you get cheap domains from? Uh, I get it from cheap. You said it right there. This is Niambi. I buy mine from uh, cheapnames.com. They're a reseller of GoDaddy, but they sell their domain names less than GoDaddy. All right. 
So cheapnames.com. I haven't set up an affiliate there. Maybe I should if they have one, right? Cheapnames.com. So, bro, Eugene, organic, paid. And make sure when you go to their website, make sure you have a opt-in page so you can get, gather their name and information, their name and email address. Now, you can go to DarylMuhammad.net, hit tools, and then you can click on AWeber and go through my affiliate link and purchase it. And I think they got a special where you can get uh, try it for one week. I'm sorry, for one penny. I'm sorry, for one penny. That's what I use. The emails you get from me, Eugene, come from AWeber. All right, and we'll have a training on that in the private group, okay, on uh, how to make money online, okay? All right, so any other questions? Good questions, Sister Niambi. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Brother Eugene. Samuel, Brother Samuel, you have any questions? Any questions? Please ask now because we probably have about three more minutes, and I never know when Facebook, <laughs> when my Facebook is going to shut down, but I don't want to put too much of that out there in the universe. All right, Meerkat, any questions at Meerkat? What does that say? Go sleep, man. Everybody asks me, am I a Muslim? Why is that? A, why you want to know? Right. I'm a, I'm a human being trying to help other human beings. If that's not good enough for you, then you're on the wrong stream. All right. You're on the wrong stream. See, everybody can benefit from this. Right. Even though it's hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy. But, you know, truth is for everybody and everybody can benefit from truth. That's why I read from this guy. I don't want to. I never I don't ask. I wonder is he a Christian? Right. Tvar Eckers. He's a he's from Canada. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if he's a Republican or Democrat. That's very immature. <laughs> that's 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 one of the rules. The losing rules to the money game. Right. Is to is to look for something other than the truth. That's a that's a losing rule to the money game. Right. If you're looking for a reason not to like somebody, just don't like them because you just choose not to like them. Right. And if you choose to like somebody, just choose them because you want to choose to like them. I like his eyebrows. I don't know. I like his pictures on the wall back there in the back. I don't know. Right. So we don't have to start pulling for these. These, these fictitious straws, right? So any question, brothers and sisters, any question whatsoever, any question whatsoever, any question whatsoever, any questions, money, everything money, that's networking, network marketing, gold and silver and mutual funds and insurance and, and entrepreneurship and what else? Sales and marketing, what else? What else? I don't know, what else? Money, everything money, all right? So all our money's good, so we, we can give to charity, all right? AbleNetwork.com. If you're about circulating the black dollar, go to AbleNetwork.com. AbleNetwork.com. Somebody put those in the live stream for me. AbleNetwork.com. You buy the best of the best of the best of the best of the best food, meats, fish, and salmon, right? Re uh, recently, the FDA has approved genetically modifying salmon, <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, so eat less and better quality food. Eat less but better quality food. Go to ablenetwork.com. Yes, it's going to cost a lot. See, we got to get out. We got to get into value. Was the $9.99 for the website a one-time charge? $9.99 is, um, is for the domain name. $9.99. All right, so we have to get out of this just cheap mentality. How do you find out about black-owned? Just Google it. Google it, Samuel. Go to Facebook and just put in there black businesses. Right? There's one called Black Businesses in Atlanta that I post on. So just go to Facebook up there in the left-hand corner, put in black businesses, and you'll see all the ones that have black businesses in their in their in their group name. Alright? But here I'm giving you giving it to you right now. Ablenetwork.com to eat, get your chicken and your turkey. And we're talking about organic, right? No, all natural organic. I mean, 100% organic, not organic in a store where if it's a certain percentage of, you know, organic, they can call it organic, right? We're talking about pure food, pure meats, pure fish, pure, pure, uh, what did I say, salmon and pure tur lamb, lamb and turkey, right? Eat less. And eat better quality of food and your body will respond, right? Your body won't need as much food. It needs a lot of food because the foods that we eat are empty. Even 
the chicken and fish and stuff we buy from the general store is empty of its proteins. So your body says, I need more. So your body is telling you to eat more, right? Your body is telling you to eat more because it's not getting enough fuel from the bad foods that we eat. I mean, the quality level of the foods are very, 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 very low, right? So eat better foods. That's why Whole Foods is, is big around the country and people are spending two and three hundred dollars for a half a basket of food. But they see they, they they're playing the, the rules. They're playing the money game with the winning rules. They're investing in themselves physically with the best of foods. So they may not be as concerned about health care as those of us who stay sick, eating bad food, thinking bad thoughts. Treating people bad, right? All those things make up your mental and your physical health. So they're eating better foods, they're exercising, so they, you know, they, don't, they don't have to worry so much about the deductible on the insurance. They go get their physical, their annual physical, right? They take their vitamins. See, they pay it up front, right? They pay it in advance, then to be on the back end of their life, falling apart. God knows where the insurance system is going to be. The healthcare system is going to be in the next 10, 15 years. Then you don't have enough money, right? Because inflation is taking cost of everything through the roof, right? We were too busy living from day to day to stack up our chips for the inevitable when you can't work anymore, right? Play the money game to win, brothers and sisters. Not play just to finish. Not play to say I'm playing. Play to win. Rich people play the money game to win. Their goal is to create massive wealth and abundance. That's a winning rule of the money game. What are we playing for? Right? Any questions, brothers and sisters? We're going to go in the next, next three minutes. Any questions? All right? Because this is not about me. This is about us. Sterling Ruth. Hey, Sterling. That's you all the way from the DR, Dominican Republic. Wow. See, that's why you want to get on Facebook. Facebook is the largest social media platform. Somebody told me 900 million people. That seems like a lot. I know 300 million. They were at 300 million uh, a year or so ago. So I know, I'm sure they're probably at 100, 400 million or more. All right. All right. So what else? Any other questions? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions, brother and sister, hashtag black dollars, hashtag black wealth, hashtag black economy, right? And remember I said the blood life fluid to any economy, big or small, right, is the circulation of the dollar, right? Is the circulation of the dollar. How long can a dollar circulate in an economy? How long can a dollar circulate in your household? Do you, as soon as you get it, it goes? What about, is it, okay, can it, does it, does it go straight out your front door, your back door, your side door, or does it stay a little while and, and kind of build up momentum, right? Savings, build up momentum, savings, Looking for an investment opportunity, savings, buying a book. Of, I heard about online marketing. Let me go buy a book about that. Hmm, that's interesting, right? Don't get caught up in the hype of how much money you can make. How you doing, brother Eric? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so you go buy a book on real estate investing. Hmm, that's interesting, all right? You go buy a book on gold and silver. Hmm, that's interesting. Wow, and you read it and kind of see which one resonates with your spirit. And then you go in that direction. Online marketing, hmm, affiliate marketing. Picked up that book from the bookstore. Found that on, on Amazon, right? Wow, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to get more of that. In. I'm kind of liking this. See, the whole purpose of education and the definition of education is to bring out of you. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Eric. All right. To bring out of you what is already in you. That's the purpose of education. So there's something inside of each and every one of us that God has placed in us that he wants us to use for his glory. See, it's our job to find what God has deposited in us. 
that that is that is natural to us. Right. That we're, that it comes easy that we're born to do because God put it in us. And then to go out there and, and service the people, how to make more money in 2016. We covered that yesterday. You have to be more service to the marketplace. Right. You have to be more service to the marketplace. And you give that and you share that. It'll come so easy. It'll come so freely. You get so much joy from it. Just make sure you monetize it, meaning that you get paid for it. Right. That's why we got change of mindset, because we just get into the, 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 the esoteric part and just love. Just I just feel good. <laughs> but what about your light bill? What about your children that your child had just called you and say, Daddy, you know, I need some tires. Like my daughter did, my oldest daughter did, moved to Philly, right? She needed some snow tires, $200 a tire, right? So sent her some money for a tire. Then three weeks after that, she left Philly and went and got married. Now she's in Sacramento, Stockton or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's just, that's just how it goes. But you want to be there and you want to have because life is going to always throw you curveballs. And you want to be, you got to know how to, a good batter, Hank Aaron, right? Hank Aaron, any great uh, home run hitter, he, he don't hit just one kind of ball. He's just not a great fastball hitter. He hit curveballs. He hit sliders. He adjusts, right? He trains, right, to hit those different type of pitches. Inside pitch, outside pitches, right? So what do you think we got to do in order to win at the money game.